Whether to get bangs or not is kind of an endless question we keep asking ourselves until we actually try it out and learn from experience that it either is or isn't for us. But it's a nerve-wracking experience to actually try out bangs because what if it doesn't look good? You're gonna have to wait six plus months to grow your hair back out, not to mention that awkward length stage where it's gonna be really hard to style your bangs and make it look good. So today I'm gonna share with you some indicators to look out for in your facial features and proportions that can help you decide whether or not bangs are the right choice for you. We'll also go over different styles and lengths of bangs that are suitable for certain features and who should be avoiding these kinds of styles in general. So make sure you stay tuned till the end for those precious tips. So I actually have a similar video on this topic where I use Dakota Johnson and Zoe De Chanel to explain the facial features and proportions that makes them suitable for bangs. To give you a quick recap, there were two reasons I highlighted in that video. The first reason which applied to Dakota Johnson's proportions was that Dakota has a long top third compared to her middle and lower thirds, which naturally draws her eyes to her forehead more so than to her eyes. So covering her forehead with bangs helps with shortening the overall length of Dakota's face and draws the attention back to her eyes. With Zoe de Chanel's case, she does have a bit of a long forehead, but more importantly for Zoe, she has a very interesting shape to her eyebrows, and the distance between her brows are a bit wide, which disperses our attention away from her beautiful blue eyes. So for Zoe, covering her brows with bangs is what helps with drawing the emphasis back to her eyes. But there are more reasons than just a big forehead and eyebrow shape that'll decipher whether or not you should get bangs. And to be honest with you, it's really hard to narrow it down to just one specific reason because there's a lot of factors that need to be taken into consideration, like your face shape, the overall length of your face, your horizontal proportions like we talked about for Dakota, the shape of your eyebrows and your eyes, and all the other features in your face that are unique to you that might draw more emphasis than for other people. So to be 100% accurate, this type of analysis really needs to be done on an individual or a case-by-case -case basis, not only on the decision of whether or not you should get bangs, but also what style of bangs would suit that specific face. But here's one general rule of thumb. It's the size of the facial features and the impact that these features have on the overall impression of the face. I've seen this explained in one of the channels that I follow called Dear Peachy, which is a really informative channel by the way, and they use a lot of Asians as examples. So for my Asian sisters out there, if you haven't come across this channel yet, definitely check it out. So in one of their videos, they use the term visual weight of the face. Now visual weight is an art terminology and it's defined as a measure of the force that an element exerts to a track the eye. So in analyzing a face, what we mean by visual weight of your features is how much do your individual features draw the eyes or the attention. And the large part of that is determined by the size of your facial features. Between these two faces, our eyes are drawn more to the eyes in the left face because they're bigger. And between these faces, our eyes are drawn more to the lips in the right face for that exact same reason. It doesn't always have to be about the size of the features either. Going back to Zoe de Chanel's features, her eyes are not particularly big in size, but it's the striking color of her eyes and also the size of her irises that really make her eyes pop. And when it comes to bangs, eyes are the first feature that we need to look at because they become the most highlighted part of the face when the forehead is covered. So if your eyes have a high level of visual weight within the face, the chance of you being able to pull off bangs also becomes higher. Kristen Ritter is a perfect example for this. She has a long top third like Dakota Johnson, and her eyes also have a high level of visual weight. So bangs are a perfect solution for her face that can help with drawing the emphasis away from her forehead to her big, gorgeous eyes. One thing to note about Kristen's eyes though is that she has downturned eyes, which means the outer corners of her eyes slope downwards. And I've mentioned this in my small foreheads video about Audrey Tattoo as well. And for downturned eyes like these, the key thing to remember is that you want to keep the angles of your eyebrows upwards to counter the angles of your eyes. So that means you also want to keep your eyebrows visible in order to prevent your eyes from looking droopy. So for Kristen, this shorter style of bangs is a better overall choice for her features than the longer style that covers her brows. 
Now, as always, there are exceptions to this rule of visual weight. If we look at Julia Roberts' facial features, her eyes have a high level of visual weight. But what's unique for Julia is that her nose and her mouth also have high levels of visual weight. And when we look at her face as a whole, the features in the lower part of her face actually have greater visual weight than her eyes. So when Julia wears bangs, instead of drawing the attention to her eyes, the emphasis gets placed more on her nose and her mouth. I've I've used Julia as an example before in my video about why you should avoid wearing red lips. And I've talked about Julia's nose and mouth as features that naturally draw more attention to the lower half of her face. So it's essentially that exact same logic here with bangs. Because our eyes are naturally drawn to the lower half of Julia's face, we want to find ways to bring that emphasis back up. But bangs do the exact opposite of that because by covering the top third of her face, the only parts that are visible now are her middle and lower thirds. So her eyes are drawn to her nose and mouth more so than to her eyes. So even if your eyes have a high visual weight, if your other facial features happen to have higher visual weight, then wearing bangs is not going to highlight your eyes. It's going to highlight your other features more instead. Another exception is Mila Kunis. Mila has beautiful big eyes that definitely have a high visual weight and she doesn't necessarily look terrible with bangs but her face is on the shorter side so when she wears bangs the overall length of the face becomes even shorter. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Bangs will visually shorten the overall length of your face so if you already have a short face and you want to prevent your face from looking shorter than it already is then you'd want to avoid wearing bangs. Okay, so now let's talk about faces that have low visual weight in their facial features. The strength that these types of faces with low visual weight have is the opposite from faces that have high visual weight in their features. With high visual weight, our eyes are drawn to a specific feature. So the features themselves are the assets for these faces. But when we look at these beauties, there isn't a feature that particularly jumps out at us. But what we find pleasing to our eyes is the combination of all of their features and how well they work together proportionally. So with low visual weight, the strength or the asset for these faces is not necessarily any specific feature, but it's the harmony of all of the features combined. And part of that harmony not only comes from the eyes, nose, and mouth, but also from what I like to call the blank spaces within the face. So that includes any surface areas like your cheeks and jaws, between your eyes and your eyebrows, and also your forehead. So because where we find the beauty in these types of faces is the harmony of all of the features, including the forehead, covering the forehead can actually create this sort of an unnatural look to these faces. When we look at Bella Hadid, for example, this style of bangs really does nothing for Bella, and it just looks kind of awkward and unnatural. Same goes for Emma Roberts. I mean, granted, the style of bangs is really difficult to pull off for most people, but when we compare her to Kristen Ritter, Kristen looks much more natural in a similar hairstyle. Going back to Bella Hadid for a moment here, one thing I also want to note about Bella's face is that she has a long face. So when she wears a shorter style of bangs like in this photo, they do a good job at shortening the overall length of her face without covering too much of her forehead. So it's a better choice for her than the longer style of bangs. But overall, exposing her entire forehead is the best choice for her in my opinion. Her face might appear a little bit longer when she doesn't have bangs, but the style just works more naturally with Bella's facial features. Again, of course there are exceptions. Dakota Johnson and Rashida Jones both have low visual weight in their facial features, but as I've mentioned with Dakota's proportions before, they both have significantly longer top thirds than their middle and lower thirds. So when they don't wear bangs, our eyes are naturally drawn to their foreheads first. In these cases, it makes sense to wear bangs even if your features have low visual weight because we can cover the forehead and draw the attention down from the forehead to the eye. So, is there a universal style of bangs that works for everyone? Kind of. Generally speaking, a thinner or a wispy style of curtain bangs that show glimpses of your forehead and eyebrows is often a better alternative for a lot of people. If you have a big forehead, for example, curtain bangs will still do a good job at covering the length of your forehead and bringing the emphasis back to the eyes. And even if you're the type that needs the shape of the eyebrows to be visible, you will still be able to show glimpses of your eyebrows with thinner wispy bangs. 
Even if your features have low visual weight, this style of bangs looks a lot more natural on faces that should expose their foreheads. The only feature I would say you should be careful about if you want to try this thinner style of bangs is your nose. I've used Priyanka Chopra as one of the examples in my video on long or big noses because she has a wider nose bridge. And if you have a wide nose bridge and you want to cover your forehead like this, even though it is a thinner style of bangs, your nose will still be a little more more emphasize when your forehead is covered. So if you're the type that doesn't want to bring any additional attention to your nose area, then try to avoid either heavy or wispy styles of bangs. The key for these types of faces is to open up the forehead as much as possible so our eyes are not drawn to the middle third as much. But if you really want to wear bangs, you should opt for this style that doesn't cover the center of the forehead and keep the length of your bangs long enough so that you can style them to the sides without covering too much of your forehead. Like I said, there's a lot of factors involved in deciding whether or not you should get bangs. So really, we need to assess the faces on an individual basis to find the most accurate answer. But I hope that these guidelines that I've talked about today gives you a better understanding of what kind of factors are taken into account in analyzing a face. I referenced quite a few of my previous videos today, so make sure to check those out if you haven't watched them already. Before you move on to the next video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your support. I've been seeing a really significant growth in my channel in the last week or so, and it's all thanks to you guys watching and liking my videos. Video, leaving the sweetest sweetest comments that are so inspiring and encouraging so thank you guys I'll see you in my next video and until then stay unique and stay gorgeous